battered by gusts of wind up to 100 miles per hour. This is Typhoon Sulik, a weather event so big it's easy to see from space. This is an astronaut's view looking down towards Japan, whilst this is what meteorologists see. But the wind which transports storms around the globe is currently mapped by educated guesswork, computer models reliant on readings from things like weather balloons. That's where Aeolus hopes to help. Built in Britain, it will be fired into space tonight. Once at an altitude of 320 kilometers, an instrument on board called Aladdin will shine laser beams through the Earth's atmosphere. By monitoring reflections from gas and dust particles moving around, it will be able to measure wind speeds at every altitude all around the globe, even from places where there are currently no weather stations. We need to know the winds in, in remote areas such as the oceans because those winds in those areas determine what the weather will be downstream in, for example, over well-populated -popula areas such as Europe many days later. Predicting events like the flooding of 2015, more warning means more chance to prepare. Within a week, Aeolus will collect more wind data than has ever been recorded, teaching us more about climate change and melting ice caps. Well, the wind is a fundamental component of the climate system. So understanding what the wind does gives us a better ind indication of what will happen with temperature, what will happen with, for example, Arctic Ocean melt, things like that. Aeolus will be launched in three and a half hours. It should have gone yesterday, but was delayed by, you guessed it, the weather. Martin Stew, ITV News.